today, you'll find me in Williamsburg, Virginia uh, at the occasion, or an occasion, for the arts. Beautiful, historic Williamsburg. This is a great uh, show. It's produced by a fellow artist, Leo Charette, who uh, is a photographer, and so it's an artist-run show. He really does a nice job. And this morning, we are going to visit my neighbor, uh, direct from Denver, Colorado, the very talented Tate Hamilton. Jay, what are you doing here? <laughs> I know, oh, wow. I just, I heard you were going to be here, and I thought, what a great neighbor. And you walked all the way from Minnesota. Or no, you, I from, didn't. From Mexico. No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, MN, is that Mexico? No. Right. <laughs> uh, as you can see, uh, Tate is an, an oil painter, and he's going to tell us about his work. So get off your chair, okay, you know, right. wrench yourself out of there, yeah, and let's let's see what you have going. Uh, before we start, have you been in in Denver like forever? Were you raised there? Forever since '63. Yeah, wow. I was, yeah, I was raised there. Great, good. Yep. Well, you've seen a lot of change in Denver. Too much. No, that's yeah, yeah. Everybody needs to just go home. <laughs> yeah, I don't. I I. Uh, tell people when they come and visit us in Fergus Falls that they have to sign a silence waiver when they leave. <laughs> Don't let the secret. And that's how, I, how I've kept the population down there, so I can't yeah, take credit for that. Good job. Okay, yeah. come to Denver and do that. <laughs> no, I'm too busy with Fergus Falls. <laughs> uh, okay, here we go. First of all, I, let's let's look at this work because it's very cool. It's very distinctive. I mean, this this is I mean, this is Tate Hamilton's work. If you've seen it once, uh, you won't forget it, and you'll remember it. Uh, the one yep. thing that's that's kind of interesting with what you have hanging today is you can really see some nice consistency. Because uh, when you paint, tell me about your palette. Oh, I have five colors. Same five colors uh, did everything in here except for one piece. Right, and it's and like what doesn't fit here. Okay, let's yeah, let's yeah. let's play this game. Exactly, what, Sesame Street. What doesn't fit here? Uh oh, there it is. <laughs> there it is. Yep. And that is very cool, very striking. Yeah. Tell this me about is, it. Okay, this is three colors. Uh, totally different palette. The Anders Zorn palette, which is cad red, uh, ivory black, and yellow ochre. Awesome. Very, very effective. Yeah. Have, did you do this pretty recently? I, it very. seems like I've seen this just in like the past few months. Yeah. Yeah, I had it up online uh, just like two months ago. Okay. Well, that's excellent. Yeah. Uh, the the more what I consider the Tate Hamilton look, if you will. Yeah. Uh, I see a lot of New York City. Oh yeah. Do you get to New York quite a bit? Every year. Okay. Yeah. And is it sort of a, a material finding mission? It is always. And this is so this is Central Park West right here. The the rain scene over there was uh, Midtown Manhattan. Um, this is my most recent piece right here. I really like this. I really lot. like that. Too. Yeah, and that's in Bryant Park, which is my favorite park. And that's been here for a full day. We're just starting the second day of the show, and that's really kind of shocking to me because it's really a striking piece. It's going to go. It is going to go. I've seen oh, quite yeah. a few people measuring and ooing and eyeing already. So oh, yeah. I think we'll. Yep. I better go. look at it for a long time today because I'll miss it. <laughs> I'll probably miss it more, more than you will. Yeah. Oh yeah, you will. <laughs> you definitely will. <laughs> Did you come from a, I want to know a little bit more about your background. Did you come from a, an art school? Did nope. you have a previous career? Yeah. <laughs> That's kind of a leading question. <laughs> Isn't it? Yeah. Because <laughs> yeah, yeah, we don't know each other. I know. Yeah. Uh, your previous career? Uh, rock and roll. You were yeah. a lead guitarist. Lead guitar, yeah. Yeah. Back in the hair band days. Yeah, yeah, when I had hair. Well, you still have so much more hair than me. I don't want to hear any whining yeah. about that. Yeah, well, uh, yeah, I, I don't know, man. <laughs> I whine all the time. It's, it's just artist, falling out. It's an artist thing. Oh, yeah. Um, so you were a lead guitarist for a rock and roll band. Yeah. And then yeah. one day you just woke up and said, I'm kind of tired of this. I'm going to start being an, an awesome oil painter. Or how'd that work out? Well, I, I did wake up <coughs> and uh, starving. <laughs> and, and, and well, actually, yeah. My my wife Sammy, she said, uh, "Hmm, I'm starving too. Can we do something about this?" So, yeah, I decided. Well, I'll do something else. Right. And so, it, so the natural thing to make bunches of money was to become an artist. Oh, of course. Yeah. 
And here Cause, you are. Because, you know, it, it, everybody makes money selling art. Absolutely. Yeah. Well, but you have done well with your art. Oh, yeah. And, very uh, well. and I, I, for that, you can be very thankful because uh, there are a lot of people who have tried and failed. And, yeah, that's true. And the yeah. fact of the matter is we're in a pretty select group. Very, yeah. And I don't mind helping other people, too. You know, if somebody wants to get into this, I'm, I'll, I'll do what I can to encourage them and, and help them out. Absolutely. Uh, yeah. Uh, other than, than finding reason to make more art, you know, selling it so it doesn't become a storage problem. Right. Uh, yeah. What are your favorite aspects of the art show scene, the world? Uh, the, well, uh, for sure, well, okay, selling, of course, but the people, yeah. the, the, the artists, and then meeting people well, from good. all over that's the place. Good. Uh, I, I never thought it'd be this much fun to, to just uh, to, to talk to other people and, and visit and go to dinner with right. artists and it's it's just a kick. It's it, a ton of work, but it's very yeah, satisfying yeah. work. Oh yeah, yeah. Well, yeah, like I tell you know y youngsters, is uh, it, it's all it, it, you take the whole package. You you buy the whole package. <clears throat> in the package is stuff you like and stuff you don't like, but you you just you go with the whole package and, and you just uh, you work it. That's right, and it's I mean there are highs and lows just like anything else. Yeah, exactly. Right? But but the highs sure make up for the lows. Oh yeah, definitely. So I'm I'm really I don't know about you, but I'm really looking for a high this afternoon because <laughs> I got too. I got kind of a hole to fill up. Yeah, today. yeah. Well, I and I don't think uh, weed is legal in Virginia, so we'll, we're not going that <laughs> we're way. We're not going to go that route. No. So let's sell something. Yes. All right. Let's do. Hey, let's get see if I see if we can take our picture here. Okay. There we are. Tate, it's been so cool being your neighbor. Yeah. And I'll see you down the road. Okay. Cool. So long. All right. Bye bye.